Hey folks, day two of the We Have More Food Than We Could Possibly Eat In Our Lifetime series. Now we're working on the leftover clams. Okay? We did a, a clam bake, which was really kind of a clam boil, and we had lots of clams. They were green-lipped uh, cockles, at, and they're wonderful. They were tasted great, but we have a lot left over. So I'm going to turn that into a linguine spaghetti with clam sauce. Now, there are some uh, members of my immediate family who won't eat the clams because they're scared of them. So I've also sautéed some chicken and I am roasting some little cherry tomatoes that were left over from the vegetable tray. So I'm gonna, I'm, I have that in the oven right now, roasting with some tomatoes, garlic. And it's just going to roast with uh, olive oil and balsamic vinegar about 10 minutes. We can put that over the tomatoes and the spaghetti. So what we're going to do right now is Pan up. Oh. Add some olive oil. And about a tablespoon of butter, which I have right here. It's my kitchen's so hot that it's already melted. We relocated our air conditioner last uh, week, weekend or two weekends ago, to uh, the, the roof instead of the back patio. Why it was there in the first place, I have no idea. But we put it on the roof, and now it's so far away from the kitchen that I can't hardly stand in here. So it's really, really hot. All right, we're going to melt the butter and the oil in the pan. I'm going to add, uh, you know, with some red pe pepper flakes. Add to taste. I prefer quite a bit. I, I like it spicy. So I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And I'm going to let those sizzle around in there. And I chopped up some garlic. I roughly chopped it. It's in big chunks. I, I didn't want some minced garlic. I wanted it kind of chunky. So I some rough chopped garlic, about four cloves. So that's going in there too. Stir that up. I'm going to cook the garlic until it's soft and fragrant, but I don't want it to burn or turn brown. my oven telling me it's on. All right, it, in addition to the garlic, it, this is completely optional, but I like using some anchovies in my seafood sauces and my some of my tomato sauces also, but I'm going to chop up just a few anchovies here. I'm going to chop them up. What's going to happen is I'm going to put them in with the garlic and they're going to melt and uh, add a fabulous flavor to the overall effect of the spaghetti and sauce. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, start to sizzle now. Mm. Anchovies smell great. A little anchovy on my fingers. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit so it doesn't overcook. Stir it up a little bit more. I want those anchovies to dissolve pretty well. Nobody likes getting a big old chunk of it when they're eating. So I want to dissolve in the oil, which it will. Okay, I'm going to add about three quarters of a cup of white wine, a dry white wine. There we 
we go. And I'm going to let that simmer until it reduces by about half. We still have about two minutes on the sauce in the oven, so we'll come back to that in just a couple of minutes. We added the wine to the pan, and it has reduced by just about half. Now I'm going to add some additional clam juice that I have in a just you just buy in a jar, and add that. And I'm going to strain out a can of boiled baby clams. The clams that I have here are not going to be enough to make a full uh, clam sauce. It's just not going to be, there's a lot of shells, but not a lot of meat on the clams. So I'm going to supplement that with a can of baby clams. But the first thing I want to do is get all the juice out of it. So pour that right in the pan. Squeeze it out. There we go. Okay. And we are going to use those a little bit later. Get the heat turned to about medium high and let that come to a boil. In the meantime, we do have this linguine on to boil. We have some sauteed chicken that's warming in the oven, and we also have the roasted cherry tomato sauce that is roasting right now in the oven. So we're good. I have all these lemons. I have, look at this. We have a ton of lemons. I don't even know. I'm going to have to like make lemonade or oh, lemonade with vodka. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to squeeze all these and show you how to make lemonade with vodka. Probably not tonight. Save that for another episode. Goes in there. Add parsley, all chopped up. Add these clams plus. Mm, whatever liquor I've got going on in here, which is the reduction from the other day. Through a little difficult, see if I can do them one at a time. That was a dead one. There we go. Oh, awesome. That's about half a lemon. Stir that all up. Nice. Oh, it looks beautiful. It looks good. It smells good. Just waiting for the thing. We need to get al dente. We're right. almost ready, baby. We're baking. Um, try it. Ready? Al dente. Uh, serving bowl. Oh. Now, I'm going to put most of the spaghetti. And you want some of the pasta water because it's starchy and it'll make a nice sauce. So, pasta water here. There we go. Let's see what we got. that much. I'm going to reserve some out for the non-seafood eater in the house. And then we're going to take this. Now this is, <laughs> this is tricky. Let's put that there. That there. missing an action. I don't know where it went, so I'm going to use this one. Get some cheese over the top. Okay, and we 
This is our linguine with clams and cheese. Look at that. Look what we did there. Isn't that beautiful? Let me come over here. And we're going to look at the chicken with roasted cherry tomatoes and onion. It's very hot. And we're going to come over here if my camera will stretch. And in my cake pan, we have the rest of the linguine with the rest of the roasted tomato sauce. So, there we have it. We're going to go eat, and we hope you guys have a great night. See